Hi, the internet. Welcome to the What Else Show. I'm Robert, and this is Bethany. Hello, internet. Thank you for saying hi, Bethany. Today we've got a show. We're going to do a restaurant review. We're going to be reviewing the Crystal Creek Cafe. Yes. In? Bothell, Washington. I think it's in Bothell. It is in Bothell. Yeah, yes. I'm sure it's in Bothell. It, yes. Yes. Definitely. And then so. at the end of the show, we'll be talking about something else. Yeah. We don't know yet. <laughs> we don't know yet. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as so, we go. So what else show? So we'll talk about something and then and I'll ask Bethany what else we're talking about, and she'll tell me what else we're talking about. <laughs> yes. So what else show? Yes. Okay. Stay tuned. Or it's not tuned. It's like on the internet. It's on YouTube. Keep Just keep watching. Yeah. <laughs> Stay plugged Stay into electricity. Stay there. <laughs> Stay plugged into the internet. Oh, that's all wireless now. <laughs> Stay connected to the internet. This is the absolute this, worst intro. This we've is, ever a, done. Long, this is a long, bad intro. long, horrible intro. Right. Lots of editing for this intro. Let's let's get into it. Okay. Hello, Internet. We are at Crystal Creek Cafe in Bothell, Washington, on a fan recommendation. So we will let you know what we think. Well, we need to actually talk about the food. Okay. How we liked the food. Let's give some impressions. Um, my food was really, really good. Really, really good? Yes. Okay. It was very, very good. Great omelet. Um, I know for a fact that the huevos rancheros were very good. Okay. So that's um, those two dishes. My food, I got the Reuben sandwich, which was okay. A little bit soggy. I got the um, chili fries, mm -hmm. which were okay. Not great. Um, what would have made cinnamon them roll, cinnamon roll was good what would have made them great um, what would have made them great I don't know the fries are ju were just a little bit bland and the chili was a little bit bland those things if those things were better the chili and the fries <laughs> okay. that would have been that would have made it better okay that's curious uh, my drink was good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. drink was good Okay. Okay, let's talk about the service, because I've been wanting to talk about this. Okay, go for it. Here's the problem I have with the service. Mm -hmm. I ordered the Reuben sandwich, and I wanted chili fries with that Reuben sandwich. You can get fries with a Reuben sandwich. You can't get chili fries with a Reuben sandwich. I had to order them separately. 
So they gave me a Reuben sandwich and I told them to give me a cup of fruit or whatever. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I wasn't going to eat it. Mm-hmm. And then they made me order chili fries separately. Couldn't they have just upcharged me to turn my regular fries into chili fries? I feel like they they could have. What? <laughs> On what planet can you not just so, do that? It was they could a, have upcharged me $6. And I'm like, okay, fine. It was a little weird that they wanted you to order the sandwich and you had to order a side with it yeah. you had to and and an order of chili cheese fries it was just a little strange so i feel like it kind of was a little like off putting when it, the waitress was basically like no you can't do that yeah i should have ordered <laughs> fries and thrown them like, all over the ground we can't do that. Oh, I would have pretended like I did not know you. I would have pretended like it didn't know me either. I talk a big game, but I just... You would never do that. <laughs> you would never do that. Absolutely not. Make a scene? Never. We've never even sent food back, ever. That's true. <laughs> we just go on the internet and complain about it. We just it, go like, on the cowards. internet and complain about it. But it was just very strange. It was very that strange. Her reaction was, no, you can't do that. And we were like, wait, uh, what? <laughs> also, she didn't bring me a straw with my drink the first time. Well, I feel like that's a bartender problem. I don't think you should blame that on the waitress. The waitress is not the bartender. She did not make your drink. So I would say don't pin that on the waitress because she may know nothing about alcohol. She may not realize. She doesn't know anything about chili fries either. Well, I know, but but you can fault her for that. I'm but you can't her fault her. Every... Did I talk about the cinnamon roll? Um, you said it was good. It was good. Okay. I did talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm I'm just defending the waitress because it's not her job to double check the alcoholic beverages. That needs to be on the bartender. Bro, she brings accessories. Yes, Food I know. Food accessories. <laughs> yes, I realize that. But the drinks come from the bar. She she may not know. And if she doesn't know, she has to rely on the bartender. And if the bartender doesn't know, then you're really screwed. Waitress and you don't get there? a straw with your copper mug. <laughs> waitress is out there. I'm telling you right now. Anything you serve ice with, you should bring a straw for. I think that's a great rule of thumb. Even even with water. Yes, yes. I absolutely. I always ask for a straw, no matter what I'm drinking, if it's got ice in it. Yep. Yep. Good rule oh, of thumb. Oh, but you know what? Straws are bad for the environment. Who cares? You know what, people? Stop using straws. <laughs> Waitresses, don't give anybody a straw. <laughs> Yes, but now your drink is going to taste like copper. How many waitresses do you think watch the show? Probably none. Zero. None. <laughs> zero. Good. Because the they big shouldn't. Zero. They shouldn't. Okay. Okay. So we talked about your food. We talked about the service. Um, let's talk about the bill. Okay. Are you ready to move on to the bill? Prices? Sure. Prices? Uh, prices were very comparable with the sawmill. Well, nobody's been to the sawmill, so um, how are they gonna, <laughs> going to understand that? Well, reference? we didn't take a picture of the receipt. I believe it was uh, $65 for three people. Yeah, but and we an ordered alcoholic like, an alcoholic beverage and chili fries mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. cinnamon roll. A giant cinnamon roll. Yep. Yeah. So take all of that into consideration to kind of the way that we ordered. All you need to say is, are there reasonable prices or do you think they're... I think they're reasonable prices. I think they're reasonable prices mm-hmm. as well. For the food you're getting, the prices yes. are reasonable. Especially that cinnamon roll. Because like, we had to bring it home. <laughs> yeah. Because it was just way too big. I wasn't going to eat a whole cinnamon roll there, bro. Sorry, bro. Trying to, <laughs> trying to take a nap right in the booth. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and rate this place. Okay, so we're ready to rate it. Uh, yeah, that's what I just said. Let's rate this place. Yes, I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I am going to give it three out of five stars. Three out of five stars? Mm-hmm. Right down the middle? Right down the middle. Do you recommend um, people go here? I would recommend people go there. Absolutely. A three star with a recommendation. Three stars with a recommendation. Food was good. And um, I'm hoping next time we go, I can get a Bloody Mary. Fun fun you're probably gonna drive so the answer is no yeah, probably i do all the driving <laughs> so. um i also give it a three i give it a right down the middle um i don't recommend this place um but it's fine uh if you're gonna go to i personally enjoy the sawmill more mm-hmm. similar menu um Like, I just froze. I don't know what I was going to (laughs) say. It's got a similar menu. I think the service there is better. Um, And I think the food is a little bit better. 
but they don't have a bar. They do not have a full bar. Right. So huge. That's that's kind of the it's a huge difference. Huge difference. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Three three is across the board. Three is across the board, and I would definitely recommend it. Totally down the middle. Three stars. Three stars. Three stars for the Crystal Creek Cafe in Bothell, Washington. Good job. So I've been thinking about like crazy things that have happened to me, to us in restaurants, right? And I can remember this one time. Do you remember this? We went to a Chinese restaurant on recommendation. We were there specifically for sizzling rice soup or twice cooked noodles or something, something specific. I do remember this, and it was the sizzling rice soup. Okay, so we're there for sizzling rice soup. Yes. We must have ordered some kind of noodle dish, right? So we've got our order. We're just waiting, hanging out, right? Place is pretty empty. And the lady that takes our order goes into the back, and then a little while later, she comes back, and she's got a noodle in her hand, <laughs> like a cooked wet noodle right in her hand. And she she's like, that. is this okay? And I'm like... <laughs> yeah i mean is that what you use don't use the one that you brought out into the dining room but i get that kind yeah sure get out of here <laughs> you know it was crazy it was crazy yeah. it was crazy. we were literally like what is happening right now yeah it, it was, was crazy one of the she, craziest restaurant experiences she, she was a waitress she, she was <laughs> she was a waitress and she brought us a noodle yeah from the kitchen yeah I mean, I feel like it's crazy. some restaurants do that thing. Like, they'll bring out the steaks and be like, oh, you want this steak or that steak. Right. Yeah. But this was a noodle. This was not that restaurant. Bro. This was not that kind of restaurant. That's not what they were trying to do here. Yeah. A noodle's a noodle. A I, noodle. Don't even, I don't even know what they're cooking. I see noodle <laughs> on there. Okay. Make that. It like, was... if she would have brought out three or four noodles, I, like, I wouldn't have known what to do. Yeah. Yeah. But she brought out one and she was like, is this okay? Like, yeah. Get was she barehanded? Yeah, I think she, she was, was barehanded. Like showing us the noodle. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe they had complaints like, we, oh, it's this kind of noodle? <laughs> that's, not, that's, that's not the noodle I was expecting. I think it was for the udon noodle soup. That's what it was for. I don't think so. Because this was a Chinese restaurant. Chinese? Oh. Okay, never mind. You can edit that, yeah. edit that out if you want. But, no, I'm yeah. going to make you look foolish. <laughs> that in. <laughs> Yeah, she yeah. brought us out a noodle. That was really crazy and no explanation. <laughs> Do you have anything weird that a waiter or waitress has done to you? Um, a waitress once grabbed my head and my hat. <laughs> she grabbed my hat and she like kind of like shook it around and she's like, oh, I love this hat. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I remember that. <laughs> yeah, that was awful. So, weirdest thing that's ever happened to me at a restaurant is remember when that waiter took my se my plate? Oh, I believe that was a busboy. That was and a busboy. Yes, <laughs> yes, I do. Took, uh, I had the fork in my hand. I was literally eating and I was about to take another bite and the individual took my plate. <laughs> you were still telling stories. <laughs> Please tell the story. So, we're in the restaurant. <laughs> was a foggy restaurant it wasn't foggy it was inside <laughs> but it was a nice restaurant anyways we're at a nice restaurant and bethany's eating Upscale. a salad mm -hmm. a delicious salad i'm gonna say caesar salad who knows? probably who knows who knows and she she's got a bite of salad in her mouth right and the bus boy co comes back steals the plate right out from under <laughs> puts it in one of those big uh bins yes yeah uh and the our main waiter was there, and he's like, oh, I don't think she's done with it. And then he takes it out of the bin and puts it back onto the table. And then Bethany's like, I, 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 at that point, I'm done. Yeah, she didn't even have the he words. touched my plate. She didn't even have the words to be like, I'm done. She's like, I, I remember that. He touched my plate. Not only he did he touch my plate, he put it in the bin. Yeah. Yes, I was going to get there. I don't know what that bin's called. I don't, I don't know. The bus, I don't know, the bus boy bin. The bus boy bin? That can't <laughs> be right. I don't know, but... Uh, it should be gender neutral. The bus person the bin. The bus individual, the dirty dish bin. Anyway, it was in the bin where the dirty dishes go. And he... And he it. brought it right back out and put it on the table. It was yes. crazy. And it totally freaked me out. I didn't know what to do. So It was crazy. It was crazy. So that's the craziest thing that's ever happened to us. Those are have anything else crazy? crazy things. I'm sure we've had other crazy things happen. 
in a restaurant. I mean, we don't have to have them. We can't. I mean, we can't recall everything. I don't have any more restaurant adventures. I, do you? I can't think of anything right now. Okay. So those are our crazy restaurant adventures. Uh, if you yourself have, have experienced a crazy restaurant adventure, feel free to comment below our video. Sure. Okay. That's the show. Uh, remember to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Follow us on Twitter at what else show. Send us an email at uh, the what else show at gmail.com um, sneak into somebody's computer go to YouTube subscribe to YouTube <laughs> for them to uh, to us <laughs> for them sneak on anybody's phone computer TV anything with YouTube anything with YouTube S subscribe Seriously. to our channel they'll thank you they they really will thank you mm -mm. they don't know what they're missing you won't be of. friends with any of them but you didn't want to be in the first place <laughs> uh yes and don't forget to comment and um also we welcome recommendations in fact crystal creek cafe was based on a fan recommendation so we don't know it's a fan feel free oh definitely a could fan. have been an enemy no enemy of the show no no it was a fan so definitely we welcome recommendations too yes all right. All right. Goodbye, Internet. Goodbye, Internet. No, I don't want to talk shit about your mother oh, on yeah. the goddamn show. <laughs> Fuck you, Robert. <laughs> so...